Um, yeah, there were some... Uh, yeah, dive bombers. You know, I, I just don't think it was particularly common for um, battleships to be lo lost due to torpedoes, unless it was by a submarine. Uh, the Barham hit by a submarine. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that the, the ship-based torpedoes are a little bit too strong. Uh, let's have a look at the HMS Erin. Not has Erin, HMS Erin. This was ordered by the Turks. Uh, Dreadnought, same year. Armament, five twin, 13 and a half inch guns. Okay, uh, should we do the same? Same kind of thing, but we'll build the air in this time. See if we can find a layout plan. Hmm, it's not showing me. Oh, she completed in 1914, so let's give ourselves another year of tech. Yeah, but, but Bismarck and Scharnhorst those torpedoes were launched by planes. Uh, Bismarck, famously, it was a plane from Ark Royal. Um, and, uh, you know, eventually was finished off when she was already battered into submission. Um, you know, submarines, yes, I get it. Because they could, they could get in a position, they could fire the torps, and the enemy was completely out of it. I think one of the things they could do is they could make things like destroyers and light cruisers way easier to hit as well. Um, so that getting in range and they can make sure that torpedo range is definitely inside secondary weapon range so that you have to close within second, within range of enemy capital ships and they can blow you out of the water quite easily um, just, that would also make torpedoes quite risky um, but if they're fired by a submarine which can sneak up um, and get them away and get a hit in um, fair enough Right. Let's have a look at the Aaron. Mm. Five twin, fourteen-inch guns. I've got a picture of it here. So she had A, B, Q, X, Y. Okay. Should be able to do that. Two funnels. Um. She didn't have a massive main tower, but let's go with that one anyway. Now, rear tower is quite stumpy uh, on this by the looks of the picture. So let's go with the rear tower six. And yeah, we need space for a Q turret. So I know this is way over the top, but as I've said before, Ultimate Admiral isn't perfect at representing Displacement, particularly accurately. Uh, she did have two funnels. They kind of looked like tall funnels to me. Well, they actually look taller than that. Tall, thin ones. So maybe advanced, two advanced funnels. No, two advanced funnels doesn't fit. Tall funnel tubes then. Here we go. Uh, and then we need a bit. Now, 14-inch guns, I do not think, fit on the medium barbit. No, they do not. So we need a standard. Four and a half. Centerline, 14 jewels. Actually, I'm actually going to go with 13s. I know it says they were 13 and a half, and you could argue, well, round it up to 14. But uh, the 13s are Mark 3s and the 14s are Mark 1s, and that's quite a big difference. Okay. And then she had 16 6-inch guns, and it says single, but 
You know, the chances of me getting that in uh, a minimal three inch guns did she have those uh she had six pounders um so that's probably a two inch gun and how many of those did she have six one two three four five six put them all on the main tower um see so yeah, if i could put six inch guns in here i would uh, but i can't and it says singles but that's not going to work with Ultimate Admiral. So we'll go with triples. Uh, so six, 12, 18. That's too many. So let's make the middle ones duels. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight aside for 16 total. There we go. Now I had four torpedo tubes, 21 inch. Again, yeah, I can't do that. So, taking liberties, I'm just going to put three on the sides. Right. Armour, I'm not looking at the chat, by the way, right this second. Because uh, I am looking at the Wikipedia article for the Erin. Twelve. Dex, three and one. Looks like she has a 12-inch extended belt, because it doesn't say otherwise. Um... 11 inch turret doesn't tell me what the tower is I'm assuming it's 12 like the belt and barbettes were 9 to 10 inches so 9 and it just says turret's 11 so I don't know 9 because it'll say 11 to 9 uh, like sorry those should be 10 um, it'll say 9 to 10 for the barbettes, which I'm assuming is the secondaries, but I'm not sure. Okay, uh, what kind of propulsion did you have? Steam turbines? Already have those. Uh, go for geared turbines, if we wanted, but no, it says to, well, mind you, not sure Wikipedia is Ultimate Admiral friendly um, all the time. What was the top speed? 21 knots. It's not particularly fast. Okay, I'm going to go back to the chat. Um, yeah, 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 that's a good point. Yeah, you yeah, know, Yamato, Bismarck, but um, they, they were the top end ships, but a lot of the grunt work was done by the Revenge class, even uh, Queen Elizabeth class ships for the British. Like, um, there are old ships, upgraded Renown, Repulse, Barham. Uh, Nelson. Yeah, yeah, late World War One or, or interwar ships, because uh, you know it, it, it became very difficult to build ships during World War Two. In fact, I don't think the Brit I mean most of the British ships were either British battleships that saw action, so Vanguard doesn't count. Was started before the war. And then the only one that they, they tried building during the war was never finished in time. Um, and that was Vanguard. Right, uh, let's go for the best armour, of course. Um, so our engine efficiency is full, so we can go with natural boilers. Uh, mini bulkheads. Double bottomed hull. Let's go with standard barbettes and an anti tort 2 to start with. Reinforced bulkheads, anti-flooding. Armoured citadel. Uh, explosives. Uh, we've got a two pounder again. I quite like two pounder. Uh, heavy shells with enhanced reload and coincidence rangefinder. A hydrophone. Mm, fast torps. We've still got a bit of weight to spare. So we could maybe get heavy barbettes and anti torp three. Not quite. Standards and anti torp 3? Yeah, we can do that. Um, maybe an auxiliary engine. Yep. Shaft. Shaft 2. Nice. Okay. Radio. No. Okay. There we go. So this is the, not the barum, but the HMS Erin. And uh, this is probably going to be the last. Uh, video I'm going to do before this evening because um, I, I, I do have some stuff that I need to get done 
Um, and uh, if you're waiting for these on YouTube, you're like, whoa, where are all these Ultimate Admiral videos coming from? I was doing an extra Twitch stream uh, for Warship Wednesday. Um, and uh, so I'll, I'll download the, the video off Twitch and I'll cut it up and put up each segment individually, I think. Anyway, let's try out the HMS Erin against a... Uh, I should, probably should have changed it up to Austro-Hungarian, but I can't be bothered now. Um, and against another American Dreadnought. There they are. Which way are they going? They are headed towards us. Well, isn't that convenient? <laughs> Actually, no. Let's uh, let's take advantage of the fact they're heading towards us and get some guns on them. So, which one do are we preferring, the uh, Erin or the Agincourt? Of course, one of the biggest or uh, well, most famous class of uh, Royal Navy ship from the Second World War you cannot make currently in uh, Ultimate Admiral, and that is the King George V class. Um, and I did, when uh, Stealth was doing his Q&A to the developers, that was one of the questions that I submitted was, um, you know, are, you, uh, are they planning on putting in the, the hull towers and turrets because of course quad turrets is something that gets asked about a lot but um are they going to put in the the hull and the the tower design to let you do a kg5 class it's more the hull that i'm interested in than the quad turrets because you know, quad turrets weren't actually that amazing okay uh, it looks like it's a very, very similar design to last time, except they have an extra turret. Cool. And a smaller middle section with one, one funnel instead of three. And cranes. <laughs> cool. So we'll need to come on to the same tack as them, or we'll never hit them. And let's speed up time. <laughs> if you're watching, by the way, and you want to join in the chat, because I can see there's quite a few people watching who aren't in the chat at the moment, then uh, you just need to be following the channel. Uh, and ignore the stuff about the bomb manual. That was for earlier. <laughs> Although I might do that again sometime. That was fun. Right, close to it in... Close till we get a, de a decent accuracy, and then we'll go uh, broadside on. See if we can't get some more of our guns firing, though, by going at an angle. Yeah, quads were slow and kept breaking. Yeah, they had real trouble with them. Um, they're too cramped, basically. Because the original design, the KG-5, had quad turrets everywhere, I think. <laughs> Bob Manuel is silly with a capital panic. <laughs> yeah, I might I'll maybe do it as a a rare a rare thing. I'm not going to make it like a common thing. It's just I was sitting around on Monday and I was like, oh, it'd be fun if we did that. <laughs> I certainly enjoyed it. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Have I only been building battleships this this stream? Okay, I'm gonna have to do some cruiser stuff uh, this evening, I think. 
<laughs> it's fun. I liked it a lot. Okay, good. I'm glad. Yeah, I'll definitely do it again. Um, I'll maybe do it as a... Uh, I'll, I'll say when I'm going to do it so that uh, I can get people together. By the way, if you find any other Twitch streamers who are doing Ultimate Admiral, I know there's plenty. There's plenty of YouTubers. Um, oh, there's the five Ultimate Admiral Taskmaster Admirals for a start. Um, there's it doesn't really have that much of a presence on Twitch. I found some French language and some Russian language streamers doing this, but I think I'm one of the very few. Um, English language streamers still do, doing this game. So, if you do find anyone else on Twitch who's doing this game, please let me know, because uh, it'd be nice to have some. Uh... Oh, hello! Flash fire on the Wyoming. Bye bye. Oh dear. What kind of repel you? TNT. Ouch. Millie, shush. Millie. Silly sausage. Uh, that was a good hit. Same caliber of guns, both of us. You got a 13%. Uh, similar chances to hit. Seems to have 8 inch secondary guns. Quite nasty. But yeah, personally, I think. Um, Destroyers and cruisers should be easier to hit um, if they're going to keep torpedoes as deadly as they are at the moment. Um, or they should uh, nerf torps. I don't normally do MMOs, but picture bomb the keep talking nobody explodes with four triggers and three people trying to defuse. <laughs> <laughs> One trying to rearm. Oh my god. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, I I tend not to do multiplayer games very much, actually. Um, Millie, shush! There's nothing there. Um, basically, uh, Yeah, Jordan plays... Oh, okay. Well, what happened to the Wyoming? <laughs> Just exploded. Okay. Well, that was a very easy victory for the Aaron. 